You look so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Same with you. I was like, I have to look at the lens, but I really just want to look at you. So if I do that, that's why. Because you're really beautiful too. Oh, you're so <laughs> beautiful inside and out. I was so excited to have this conversation with you. And I did a, a lot of homework uh, for it because there were so many things I wanted to discuss with you. And you have this new series, which I saw. It. I, I was so scared. I had to text everyone on the show that I was like, I'm so scared right now, <laughs> please. Like, has and anyone whilst watching it, I'm terrified I need, I need people. Tell me your secrets. It's this buzzy new Amazon show. I mean, it taps into my worst nightmare, obviously. Um, and I think every mother, parent's worst nightmare. How did you handle the subject matter? And how are you so strong? Because it's incredible. You know, I wasn't that interested in playing a pure bad sociopath person. I always like to know why people do what they do. And we started from this pretty simple premise and a pretty universal premise, which is how far would you go to find and protect your child? And, you know, I feel like I've said it this and and you hear it all the time. Like, I'm not a violent person, but if anybody came after my kid, you know, so it's sort of like this culturally sanctioned um, reason for going nuts. And so I started in a pretty place where I could horribly try to imagine. Um, and then, and then I just went on this rocket ride. One of the things with your podcast, the challengers of which you say that you should look at things, not as roadblocks, but as doorways. And I was listening to the podcast that you talked to your amazing husband, Brad Silberling, who's an incredible director and he lost his girlfriend, uh, Rebecca Schaefer, who was an actress. And I thought it was so incredible that you guys talked about that story. Yeah, well, that that's sort of a prime example of, you know, this, this devastating thing that happened to him, which is getting the call that nobody wants to get, which is that your loved one has been shot dead randomly. Um, and, it, and it reverberated throughout LA and throughout the world. And it was sort of uh, kind of the first time that stalker stuff sort of really came to the fore. Um, I met Brad about five years after that. And I immediately was drawn to him. And when I heard that fact about him, I said, um, you know, I, 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 I have all these big feelings, but I, I don't know what to do with with this idea that he was like in love with this beautiful young woman who was shot down. And if she hadn't died, you know, I was kind of hung up on like, there's only one for everybody. And if she hadn't died and I was sloppy seconds and just, I was all, you know, in love, I was vulnerable. And my father said, um, well, if, if it continues and he continues to love you in the way that that is good for you, you may come to feel grateful to her for teaching the how to love. Mm. And that is absolutely what happened. And so my heart, you know, now Rebecca's in my heart in a way that I, you know, it wasn't like competition. It wasn't jealousy. It was like, oh, all these things that happen to us prepare us um, to, to love and to be more present. And that is 100% true of my I husband. I thank you so much for A, sharing that wisdom of how we can all learn because you cannot change someone's history. So you know, embracing and honoring is really the only approach we have, but gosh, it takes lifetimes, it feels like, to learn that, and a lot of relationships. And it happened in 1989 um, in West Hollywood, and in 1989, I moved out into my first apartment at 14, emancipated by the courts, and this very much was front and center news. There was no stories like it. It changed the landscape for everyone, and um, I thank you for sharing that because I was a part of that time and that culture. Um, when Rebecca was unfortunately killed, it, 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 it changed everything for everyone. Well, I am so enamored with you and oh. the way that you are living your life, sharing it, and giving us all the nod that looking at it and talking about it is what brings the light and gets rid of the darkness. And thank you for leading the charge on that with your podcast, The Challengers. And if you want to watch this buzzy, important, cool show <laughs> that everybody's talking about, and it is riveting, um, it is called Tell Me Your Secrets. It's on Amazon Prime right now. And thank you, Amy. Oh, it's my, okay. Now I'm gonna take you in and all your beauty and your adorableness. And you know what? that accordion potato like who needs that <laughs>
that's just like so much work and you know a hundred really thank you a hundred percent the accordion potato gets a <laughs> and um thank you so much right back at you thank you for being a light in this world thank you thank you thank you